Hey, three commas traders. My name's Jared, and I'm a three commas representative. Today, I will be going over the grid bot section to help you understand how it works and how to make your very own grid bots. We've made some significant new updates to the grid bot section, and we thought it would be a great idea to review the section in further detail. Without further delay, let's get right into this. All right, now that we're on three commas, we're gonna go to the grid bot section. And to get there, you're going to see on the left side of the screen, grid bots. All you gotta do is click on that. Once you're here, you'll notice a chart. You'll notice some settings on the side. And down here will be where your grid bot that you create will reside. So let's take a quick look at the chart. This chart is from TradingView. And if you wanna look at indicators on the chart, you can do that by adding them up here. You can also draw lines using this tool here. There are more options if you click the arrow for each section. You can add images, so I can go ahead and just draw an emoji right there. You can measure the movements as well. So if I wanted to measure how high this was, 45%, beautiful, I can do that. Lastly, you can use this trash can here to remove all drawings and indicators. So we'll go ahead and remove the indicators, remove the drawings. Over here, you can see the best performing pairs with the grid bot section. You're able to select some more options in here if you'd like, along with the type of stablecoin you'd like to look at, USDT, USDC, or BUSD. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is do ETH USDT for this example, and we're gonna continue over to the strategy tab. So you have three different strategies to choose from on the grid bots, rising, stable, and futures. Rising will allow you to earn funds on a bullish market in the quoted currency, which would be USDT. The stable option allows you to earn funds on a sideways market. So if it is currently hovering around the same price, kind of like what it is here, this would be a great option. Lastly, you have a futures option if you're using futures pairs. This isn't the most viable option for grid bots since it will make long and short deals. We're going to go ahead and select the stable option since the market's currently sideways. And when creating this, we're going to want to select the exchange, which I'm using the paper account right now. The pair, which I want to use is ETHUSDT. The amount of funds I'd like to use, which we'll go ahead and put 10,000 USDT. And finally, you can click customize if you want to work with the more advanced tools. You can place a high price. So the high price we're gonna place is 2200. That's what I wanna do. And the low price, I wanna place 1600. So this is just an example. So what I did is I basically capped the top and the bottom at these specific values. So those are the last purchases it would make. You can have trailing down enabled, which means it will make more purchases as it falls below this low price. The levels is going to be how many deals it can make in this section. They will be evenly spaced out between 0.25% and 0.34% in this example. But if I drop this down to 20, you can now see that it is only 20 orders in this space. And their spacing is 1.43% to 1.93%. So we're going to go ahead and do 60. Like I said, this is just an example. You don't have to do these settings. Moving on to the geometric section, you can see that you have trailing up available, which is about the same as trailing down, except it goes up. Meaning instead of making purchases on the way down, it'll make sales on the way up. You can still place the high price, the low price, enable trailing down. But with the steps section, you will be placing the percentage spacing instead of the amount of levels. So if I put 1%, it'll be 33 levels, which is the grid lines you see here. So we're gonna go back to the previous one and we're gonna change this back to 60 for our example. And we're gonna go ahead and click back test. The back testing button isn't available on every exchange, but it is available on the paper trading account. So there we are. It shows in the last 120 days, this bot would have made 9.82% profit. It would have made almost 2,000 trades. This won't be 100% accurate because you can't really get the past data without the live data that occurred during those times. 
So if we're happy with that, we can go ahead and click Start. And it will go ahead and start us our bot right here. It may take a moment to start up as it has to place all the deals on your exchange and it doesn't want to cause an error from placing too many too quickly. So it may do this in short increments. So while this is starting up, I'll go ahead and show you how to view your grid bot settings. So if you click the symbol here, you'll notice the chart will appear. Clicking this arrow right here will show you more information about the grid bot, including the settings you've placed. You can see the stats of the grid bot up here. These three dots will allow you to edit the bot. You can view the history of the grid bot. You can view the account the grid bot is running on. You can view the logs of the grid bot, which is the code that it generates the signals. And you can share the grid bot to other users or friends. Lastly, you can close the bot, which won't delete it, but it will send it to a different section where it will remain closed. That's going to wrap up this episode on grid bots. You can find more helpful sources in the video's description if you have any questions or concerns. If they still go unanswered, our support team is always available and can be found on our websites. Thanks so much for watching and learning with us, and as always, happy trading.